ในช่วงข่าวภาษาอังกฤษไทย PBS World กับคุณนัฐากรมวาทินคุยกับศาสตราจารย์มูฮัมหมัดยูนุสเจ้าของแนวคิดธนาคารเพื่อคนจนหรือกรามีนแบงค์แห่งบังคลาเทศค่ะอาจารย์ได้รับการขนานนามว่าเป็นนายธนาคารเพื่อคนจนช่วงนี้หันมาขับเคลื่อนให้คนรุ่นใหม่เป็นผู้ประกอบการเพื่อสังคมมากขึ้นเชื่อมั่นในพลังของคนรุ่นใหม่ที่จะขับเคลื่อนโลกขับขับเคลื่อนโลกได้อย่างสร้างสรรค์เพื่อแก้ปัญหาสังคมค่ะTo see things in perspective, you originated with Grameen Bank in Bangladesh more than 40 years ago, right. and right now it seems the idea expand to Yunus social business with right. the concept of social business. How do you see the two concepts work in tandem between Grameen Bank to help the poor to stimulate female yeah. entrepreneurs to, to do their own business, and then you move on to social Other business? Yeah. How how do these two prongs, two forks it's, it's a, work it's, together. It's, it starts from the same idea. When we created Gamin Bank, we had no intention of making ourselves rich by creating a bank for the poor people. All our intention is to help poor people get out of poverty. We no intention of making any profit for ourselves. So that idea made it a social business, but at that time we didn't have the word social business. So Gamin Bank itself is a social business. Once we do that, the micro credit bringing financial services to the poor women throughout the country in Bangladesh. Right now we have over 9 million borrowers of Grameen Bank, 97% women, so almost all of them are women. Uh, and they take little money and start a business and become self-reliant. They can earn their own money and continue to grow. So this is the microcredit part. Then there are other problems of the poor people like education, healthcare, housing, sanitation, and many more. So every time I see this problem, I create a business to solve the problem. In the same spirit as we did in microfinance, no intention of making money, but to solve the problem in a sustainable way so that it covers the cost and move on, expand itself. So I would say social business and microcredit came from the same idea. So we just expanded from uh, financial services to other services, other products uh, in uh, energy, in uh, um, rural migration, and many other things. This is the era of social enterprise or social business that young people discuss a lot. Like, and also the same time for startup blossoming that young people are interested in integrating with technology to create social enterprise as well. Right. How do you see the opportunity that young generation can think of integrating with their work, their ideas, with technology? Yeah. What's the opportunity waiting for them? The way I try to address this uh, with the young people, I remind them that uh, you are a very lucky generation because you are the most powerful generation in the whole history of human being. Because you have the technology in your hand. No other generation in the entire human history had so much technology in the hands of the young people. So with that technology, you make yourself very powerful. And uh, think, about, think about your power, how much power you got. Once you realize you have enormous power, each one of you has enormous power, and you ask the question, what should I do with my power? You have the power, but you have to know where to use that power. So that you have to figure that out. Because if you don't figure it out, you'll never use that power. If you don't use the power, it will be all wasted. It will be gone, finished. So it's better to do that. You have the power to change the whole world. That's the power you have. So it's make a beginning. Make a start. You have the technology, use the technology to solve the problem. Your previous generations couldn't do that because they didn't have the technology, they didn't have the mindset. So you have the mindset, you have the technology, you have the power. Now do that. And always remember, nothing is impossible for a human being. So don't tell that, oh, this is too big, this is too complicated. Nothing is complicated for a human being. And we can do anything we want, provided we make up our mind. And if you make up your mind, your generation make up your mind, the world will be different. It will be completely a new world. And you can do that. And your generation can do that. You don't have to wait for 
your children's generation or grandchildren's generation. So this is your chance. Take the chance. So they just have to come up with. Idea, anything to help society and integrate with technology is that what you are trying to tell young generation to do. Yes, uh, not only uh, you have to come up with ideas. First thing to do, make up your mind. If you make up your mind, ideas will come. Make up your mind to do what? What you want. What you want. If you want to change the world, you can do it. So you you make a decision. Do you want to change the world? If you want, it can be done. If you don't want to change the world, the world will remain. Your power will remain unutilized. You'll go without using your uh, power. And I tell them that you have Aladdin's lamp in your hand, but you never touch it. If you touch it, genie will come out. So the first thing to make go for themselves Absolutely. to change the world. Whatever they like to do, Absolutely. just do it. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It looks too big to change the world, but you have the your power is too big. Why should you do small things? You decide to do the big things because you have big power. Use that big power fully, not just tiny bit of your power. If you don't use your power, as I said, it will be perish. It will be gone. Finish. You have the genie inside of you. So your genie has to do something. So tell them what to do. Make sure you want to do things in big way. So you have a big idea, big objective, but just start small. Don't try to do whole thing overnight. You have the big idea to change the world, but changing world start with one step, little step. Make that little step, and then if it works, then continue, move on, and ultimately the world will change.